Mr. Speaker, should we hurriedly, hurriedly suspend the, the, the rules and say that we are past it? It means that the doors would have been shut on this floor, on me as a member, with my own bona fides, just as they do. We have allowed the sponsors today, Mr. Speaker. When the sponsors came, they said they have further amendment. They, by the way, Mr. Speaker, at the time this whole bill was considered, we were supposed to straight away go to third reading because it was ripe for third reading. But the sponsors came with an application for a further second consideration. In other words, though we had moved past second consideration, they came back again for second consideration. Nobody opposed it. Mr. Speaker, I only pray that the application, the prayer, Mr. Speaker, I'm not really making an application which application would have to be subjected to a vote. I'm not making an application properly so-called. I'm not making an application properly so-called. I am appealing to the chair that in the spirit of consensus building, as has always been part of our practice. I am appealing to, Mr. Spe to my colleagues, through Mr. Speaker, that in view of the changes that have been introduced by the sponsors themselves, I feel inclined by that to do further amendments. Mr. Speaker, perhaps one of the reasons why my amendment and order on clause 12 failed was because it had not been advertised. And that members were not on notice. My friend, the firm my friend, Sam George, and colleagues who are part of this process, let's accommodate each other. The beauty of this democracy is when we are able to listen to each other, no matter how long it may be, you will have your day. It's an appeal. So, Mr. Speaker, please grant my prayer. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, please pr grant my prayer so that I will be able to file my, my amendment so that I can come formally, I can come formally to move, to, to, to move for second consideration. If it fails, if I bring my amendment and those amendments fail, there's no problem. Mr. Speaker, arrest my case. Honourable members. First, the honourable member seeks the leave of the, of the House to accordingly suspend our orders to pave way for the third reading to be read. The Speaker, accordingly, all of us, in fact, voted for the suspension of our rules, and the leave was accordingly granted. The Speaker, it is only right for us to complete the process. So the Honorable Member is on his feet. The Speaker, the only thing he has to do is to move the motion and for the third reading. And if that is done, the Speaker and the House will take a decision on that. So the Speaker, I urge the Honorable Member to move the motion accordingly. And after that, after that is done, the Speaker, we can move on to any other business. Yes. But until then, Mr. Speaker, I don't think that there's any other business before. Yes. The business before us is the third reading. We have started the process and we have to complete it. I'm going to put a question. I'm going to put a question that has, the motion has been moved and seconded. And I left it for your consideration. You made your points. And it's not for me to take the decision, it's for the House to take the decision. And so I put the question. Those in favor that the you... <laughs> Mr. Speaker, there is an intervening matter. As it is now, the motion is not standing on its four legs in absolute terms. I have brought an, an intervening matter before you. Mr. Speaker, 
respectfully. I'm just asking. Honourable Member, Member, I think we have listened to you enough. So let me put the question. Those in favour that the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2021 be taken through the third reign, say aye. Aye. Those against, say no. Honourable members, the eyes have it. The Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2021 is read the third time and passed. And